You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Well, snowshoes may seem like a simple item to help us explore during the colder months, but they do have a complex and interesting history that often goes unexplored. Jay Kustash returns to the woods for the story. When using snowshoes to traverse the snowy wilderness of West Bloomfield, it's important to understand where they come from and appreciate their history. So snowshoes were invented over 4,000 years ago and used first by Native Americans to traverse the you know, deep, deep, deep snows that we used to get or if we have further in North America. Um, this is a really cool example of what they used to look like. Um, and you can still purchase ones that look like this now. Um, they're made from ash wood that's been bent and rawhide, so natural materials. Now we make these more modern ones, and these are the kinds that you can rent here at West Bloomfield Parks. They're aluminum and lightweight, and they're called a bear paw style. And they're great for navigating the kind of snow conditions we have here. They also have a grip on the bottom in case there's icy conditions, and they're pretty easy, user-friendly to put on. The wooden snowshoes also came in multiple styles, as Lauren explains. There's different styles. This is the Huron style. Um, if you were to see an Ojibwe style, it would actually be two separate pieces of wood that are attached at the top and at the bottom in a slightly different shape. So different tribes in different areas made different shapes based on the terrain that they were trying to get through. So longer and skinnier was if you had a very wooded area, you couldn't turn very easily in big bulky snowshoes. Um, and then this style is kind of a combination of the two because here we have open areas and we have wooded areas. So it helps them get around in the Lake Huron area, which is where it gets the name, the Huron snowshoe. So it helps distribute their weight a lot and um, there would be bindings on here to hold it on. Long, long ago, even before this kind, people would just take um, like pine webbing and put it on their feet any way that they could. Anything that's going to distribute your weight so that you don't sink through the snow. And really, whoever invented them first was actually nature. So snowshoe hairs are the perfect example. Our cottontail rabbits here have thick fur on their feet, but not as thick as snowshoe hairs. And they actually stay one or two inches above the surface versus sinking all the way down if there's deep, deep snow. So they really invented it first. Similar concept, basically just distributing your weight so that you don't sink down as far. Now the next time you're using snowshoes to prevent your shoes, socks, and bottoms of your pants from getting wet, you'll be able to understand where they come from and what makes them so special. Reporting for The Splash, I'm Jake Kustash. To learn more, you can visit civiccentertv.com slash snowshoe history. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.